Like, it's an Adelaide, great. It's a Greek Adelaide thing. Yeah, like I, I get it. Like I, I get it. No, hey, I'm Greek. I'm a bit Greek. Yeah. I like. I actually am. I'm not. I'm not joking. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, my uncle's <laughs> name is, is Leonidas. <laughs> it's true. Okay. So, so let's let's like let's drop some respect. But, but like, man, that's that's yeah. Yeah. It's pretty sick, actually. It's also like we all wear black shirts as well. Have you noticed yeah. that? Yeah. 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 They've disconnected the switch. Oh, okay. Rebs have been a good boy. Uh, Rebs is Rebs is such a little sweetheart. I love him. You know, I drove up in the car with Ryan, and this guy. He is actually an angel. He's yeah. actually an angel descended from Singapore. Um, come to come to grace us Australians with his presence. Too good. He's such a sweet guy. He has so much fun playing the game, like constantly laughing, even when he's losing, even when he's not, you know, probably should be a bit more locked in, yeah. as, as has been the theme for this weekend. Um, and Tiff with the with the ears as well. This is this is the furry setup. Both players, I think, being furries. Did you know that? Rebs is a furry. Ernest didn't know. We were in the car. Oh, really? We were in the car and we were talking about what animal everyone would be. I don't know why. It's just a road trip. You yeah, know, you talk yeah. about things. And then Rebs is like, guys, I'm a furry. Like, like, what do you mean yeah. I would be? Like, I can't remember what we gave him. Oh, we like gave a him, frog or something. Yeah, we gave him something. He's like, I'm a furry, man. I'm like a dog. Like, that's like... By the way, not to, not to call out the furry community, but my hat goes off to the people who have, like, the really interesting personas. Like, it's awesome to be, like, a dog or a wolf or a cat. Yeah, like, I that's, get it. That's awesome. I get it. But when someone's, like, an owl or, like, a like a lizard or something, good. like, that's sick. Yeah, I, I'll give it up. But I get it. I love cats. What? Are you a, are you a dog person what? or a cat person? I'm a dog person. You're a dog person. I, right. do, I do have a cat, though. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is that your cat or is that... Um, no, it's David's cat. David's cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I have a family dog. What's its name? What's the cat's name? Maui. Maui. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that Maui, like, just based on Moana. Maui in general? Or is it is it based on, like, the Moana? Yeah, it like is the Disney Dwayne movie. Johnson. It yeah. is Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. 100%. That sucks. Imagine going home and, like, Dwayne Johnson is your cat. <laughs> it's <laughs> like... We have our calendar... Like, our calendar... Yeah. And it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. That's Florida. crazy. Imagine if your cat started talking. Like, you know, like the cat returns, or like, like any of these like movies where the cat starts talking, and it's like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I think that's a thing. And it's like, hey, Jason, you know, no. like, you know, the Dwayne the Rock Johnson I voice? I think that's like, a thing already. Really? Dwayne like, Johnson's like an animal that talks. Yeah. That's a movie that's he, already exists. That's a movie that already exists. You know what? Like, you're probably right. Did Dwayne Johnson bolt? Maybe. He might be Bolt. I can't he, remember. Dwayne, the, Dwayne Johnson is so funny. But we're going to see some some wrestling moves from me, Brawler. Oh, for sure. Like, this character's got the suplex on deck. Like, right there. Um, but not as good as a Lolan Whip. That's my call. It's pretty crazy. We're in Big Cheat. We're, we're in Adelaide. This is a classic Adelaide matchup, actually. Actually, yeah. This is... We have Adelaide at home. Yeah, literally. Well, we have Adelaide in other states. Not really at home, but... Yeah. And crazy that Ghost like wasn't really on the brawler that much today. No. Um, or like this week this week in general. Um, and we didn't even see Taicho playing Greninja last set. No. You know you hey, double jump. Adelaide can oh. take the Brawler Greninja away, but you can't take the Brawler Greninja out of Adelaide. Yeah. Also they're are. both in pink. Looking pretty. Okay, Trump Bear. Haven't first Trump Bear of 2023, but it's sick. Yeah, first Trump Bear of 2023. <laughs> Tiff has been looking so good on the ball, oh! by the way. Like very clean with the conversions. Hey, double jump. I'm not gonna lie, man. What? I mean, I know I've been, <laughs> I know I say it every single time, but. Rez makes me want to play Greninja again. He... It's just one of those guys, you know what I mean? Like, watching watching someone who's really clean. Now, I was just watching Con and thinking, like, damn, I want to play some Fox right now. Yeah. And then the next set after, I'm like, I'd love some Greninja. It's it's crazy. 
Uh, Rebs really makes this character look so good. Um, I think he is like... It comes from... Oh, no jump. Okay, anyway. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. It comes from like having so much fun with the character. Like a lot of people criticize Greninja. Um, they say he's he's too linear. All you do is dash attack. All you do is go for those silly little 50-50s. Rebs does not do that. This guy is... He's, he's tricky. By the yeah. way, nice recovery. Always using that water shuriken to cover. Oh, wow. Living. I think Revs also has really expert usage of bear. Something that, like, is one of Greninja's maybe, like, slightly more difficult tools to use well. Oh! I think up throw kills. Yeah. Nice. Like, he really uses Greninja Fair like Cloud Fair almost. Yeah. In that he's, like, constantly landing with it, um, threatening you, making sure that you stay in shield, and then he gets stuff like, uh, like Tomahawk Grab on Greninja, on a character that has, like, the frame 11 grab and is constantly just crossing up your shield with dash attacks and stuff. Oh, and Rev just started moving here in the mid last stuff. Probably made Roller so scary. Is he here? Let's jump with the net. And as well, his micro, like the way that he spaces his down tilts and stuff, is so scary. Oh. No double jump. Hey, look for the super soaker. That's damage. Oh, yeah, 81. So much damage. Maybe kill percent on the ledge versus this me brawler character. Might as well have shotguns in her fists. God, I don't know if that even works, man. Like, she's been going to do it all day. It works versus so many characters, but... Oh! oh wow. <laughs> the frog is slippery. And I've been saying this to a lot of people, man. Rebs in the last hit scenarios, he's so clean. I don't know what he does, he turns it up. He's a closer. It's, it's this fair that he's been threatening all game as well. That's <laughs> the other thing that he does in the last hit situation. It's like the whole no game... No way. I did that. The whole game he's been showing you the move he's going to kill you with. And then Rebs, this beautiful Singaporean. I he, think he says, shake my handler. <laughs> I think again, I think just like last time, I think after he kills now. Bit of a pummel. Oh, jab. Okay. See something like side B here, so... The double wow. side B! He's so custom! He did it so much as well. And then, when it mattered, lands it. He I mean, I actually, th the craziest part is that... I saw him do it a few times, I said, come on, Ribs. Bit of day one tech. You're in top eight qualifiers. Show a bit of respect. I get hit by the last one. 100%. I had no idea it was coming. It's, it's pressure, and it's... Like, this guy plays like a ninja. Like, he's super slippery. There's all this stuff hitting you from every direction. Um, I don't know. It really... It actually makes me love Greninja. I, I think, like, truly, I did not like Greninja as a character until I watched Rebs play him. He always felt a bit hollow to me. But yep. this... This is Greninja. Like, sorry. Sorry to any Greninja mains that I've offended. Um, but I love, I love Rebs Greninja. I love this... And I think a lot of this stuff as well comes from being a player from a smaller region. Um, we see it a lot when people like uh, Shrix or like Bradley go overseas and people say like, oh my god, how do you use Wario Bike like that? Or like, like oh, yeah. why do you plank with Sephiroth it's like, like that? Um, it's this thing with Australians, man. It's like, uh, the weakness definitely isn't like neutral. As funny as, funny as that sounds. Mm. Like, Australians have like developed their neutral so much because well, every other facet is like actually weaker, like being cleaner, combo, extension, mm. like ledge trapping. But neutral wins? Australians need that, man. We need new and creative ways to win neutral, like mm. we've never seen. So, Wario, he's just gonna use bike like a projectile, man. It's and Reds? 
He's gonna do his uh his, nin his ninja, ninja tricks. Yeah, his ninja tricks. Ninjutsu. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think like coming from Singapore, obviously, um, somewhere oh, wow. where. I know Revs has expressed his concern to me about like the talent pool there and about yeah. how like now that he's gone it's like Terrarian and then like a big gap um, between Terrarian and everyone else. And I think when you're in like a small region like that you tend to innovate. Yeah, you yeah, tend yeah. to have to be creative. You can't just be like, okay, I play the next best person and like and get good. Crazy though. What a move. The the McFlurry. Oh, you're gonna have to explain that one. Because it's like Flurry Punch, and okay. you work at McDonald's. So it's just uh, a main thing. Well, I mean, like I said, I called it before because I was trying to think. There was like the funny name for it, like the Fortnite Flash or whatever, like the tech that's called the Fortnite oh, Flash. Way better. But, uh, but I think like I was, I was thinking, and I was like, what's the move? Oh, the McFlurry. <laughs> um, and I think, and an Aussie major as well. Like good wins get good desserts. For you sure. get the McFlurry. Who's getting the McFlurry? Who's getting the McFlurry? I literally had one last night. Oh my! God. We we dr we went through the drive-through after because Jacob Reisel hadn't eaten anything. And oh, oh my god! Oh, that's shaking, shaking me. And now, I mean, look, you can't count this frog out. Or maybe you can with forty-six percent and on yeah. stage. Oh what my! What god! And Tiff with a little pop off after that, like you gotta pop off. And look, Rams is smiling. He's like happy. You know, like that's the cool thing about this guy. Yeah. I will. If you haven't seen much, obviously he's kind of been in Australia for a couple months now. But if you haven't seen much of him, if you're from another state and like you didn't realize that this Singaporean is now a resident of Victoria, I think like you know tune in, like lock in, lock in for this guy because he's we love having him here. And, yeah. Um, I mean, he has, he has well and truly integrated himself into like the Victorian Smash scene. Like really like he's great. He's just around. Yeah, like he's you go to a tournament and you go. And he's right. he's so friendly. You know, both of these players, like Tiff, Luma, um, long time, long time Smash veteran now. Yeah. Um, and also having been like originally from Tasmania and then moving to WA and and now I don't know. There might even be other moves in the works. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Maybe. Yeah, who knows? Um, but like both of these players. Just like incredibly friendly faces to see around the scene, and uh, it's great to see them both here, like having a great set. Oh, oh we've all tapped. Yeah, but <laughs> and and just like that, and we're back. And we're back. Yeah. Okay. Already, Reb's looking a bit better here. Yeah. Thrupper is so crazy. That yeah. hitbox at the ledge. Oh, okay. Bit of tricky movement. I was a bit worried there for a sec. Yeah, it's, oh. it's a show you, right? Like, it's just gonna... That's how you have to treat it. It actually... It is and more. It is and, like, the final punch hitbox is so big. Oh, again. 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 No. Tiff knows. Like, Tiff. it's just... And just thinking about it in my head, that makes so much sense. Always reactable to move. Yeah. Let go of shield. Guaranteed. What Guaranteed are you do about and it? run off dare. And, like, Luma in the space of, like, two minutes, has made that perfect. Oh, I've all tapped again. Has straight away made that perfect. And now, Rebs. I think, I think when one of your ninja techniques, like when the, yeah, when the secret, out. Oh, the secret of your clan is discovered like that. Yeah. You know? Okay, going for a bit of cheeky suicide, trying to end the game three quick. But, uh, Rebs, oh, but speaking not of ending it quick, this damage, and we know that Luma knows how to do those proper finishes. This is the thing I was going on about in my set versus Luma. I was mm. too worried thinking about the thruppers. Yeah. We haven't seen a single one yet. There are there are many more assets in this character's game than just like the, the combos off the top, right? It's true. Nice patience from Rebs. Luma in complete control. Again, no way. Oh, another time. Revs. It's really hard because I think that kind of thing hasn't really been done to him before. Um, and now he's got this muscle memory that he is drastically fighting against, you know? Yeah. Like, he's got these recovery patterns 
and like normally it's fine because you cycle through, you rotate. Yeah. But when one like quarter of that, when the, whenever the clock strikes, shadow strike, shadow snake, shadow snake, <laughs> shadow. Sorry, I'm mincing my words. Um, whenever the clock strikes, shadow snake, um, you it's actually game over. Like like he has to just like remove that, um, or at least make it way harder to um. Yeah, I don't know if there's. I mean. I assume you would have tried by now already, like, if there's any other way to deal with that. Um, but we'll see what adaptation uh, Rebs can get. Hey, I do think, as well, very smart player, Rebs. Adaptation, uh, definitely one of his strong suits. Hey, small battlefield, this is the Thrupper stage, by the way. Like, I know we were saying that it, it doesn't come out as much anymore, but if there was a stage for it to come out... Rebs really needs to take this into the game five. No way. Oh, okay, okay. got a bit down. Was that? Oh, Edel jump. Oh, uh, still done. Perth popping off in the crowd. But Rebs. Against a character like me, Brola, as well. Like, me, Brola, maybe not having huge disjoints, but really good at I mean, playing so, hard to hit. So fast, right, yeah. as well. Oh, that's... Damn, that was such a dangerous down throw. Oh! Okay. Another ninja technique from Reds. A little substitution jutsu. I don't know what's happening in the venue. Something's going on. I think it's melee. Oh, okay, yeah. I can't yeah. even think. It must be, it must be. Oh. oh, it's like these ledge scuffles are like so ugly, and that's really bad if you're against me, Brola. Oh, like, yeah. me, Brola wants it to be scrappy and ugly. Um, this character does so much damage and has so many like great single hits, like that back air. Whereas Greninja needs like just back air doesn't do it for you. You need yeah, these no. these starters. You need these. Da oh, oh wow! Pretty much guaranteed. Oh. And it's looking good for Luma here. A little bit dire for Rebs. If he wants this top eight, he has to find something. Double dash attack. That's pretty good. Oh, he's looking a little bit locked in. Yeah, he's locked in. Maybe, maybe the jinx. Maybe the commentator's curse. Oh, oh that was wow. almost the frame trap. Frog's looking a bit more slippery. Just have up to it we haven't seen yet. I uh, love like, the tongue. You know, me brawler landing with these. Whoa. Oh, no. oh yeah, no. no way. Wow. Wow. Just like. I know what to do. What a set. Yeah, that was brilliant. Uh, by the way, WA, you can see the camera. WA team getting around Luma. Um, actually, they're all, what, like LGE esports? Yeah. It's the... So, yeah, Luma's first top eight. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been so good for so long. Yeah. I'm astounded that that's her first top eight, but congratulations. Oh, post, post. Oh, post COVID. Post COVID. Post -COVID. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Um... All right, I was informed by a little bird yeah. that we have a trailer. Oh, a trailer? Yeah. A trailer, you say? A little trailey whaley. <laughs> a little trailey whaley. Oh, little, what's happened here? A little bit of video <laughs> watching. Off to the side, I can see they are currently they are currently streaming the stream control window. That's so insane. <laughs> There's a bit of technical difficulties going off on the side. No, nah, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, no, grab your, grab your popcorn or your little snacks. Um... You know, put some subway I've, servers. I've, I've seen the Google Doc, and I've I've spoiled myself. Oh, for, now you. For the trailer video. Okay, well, I don't know what the trailer. I'm not looking. I don't know what the trailer okay. video is. Um, so I'll I'll get to watch it, fresh with fresh eyes. Um. Yeah, but. You know, get sit tight, sit tight. This trailer. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Coming up. The boys to my left doesn't. They don't know what's going on. They actually don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, they don't know what's going on. So they're trying to. That's fine. Look. 
that it's always like this. You you set up the um set up the thing for games and then it's like, oh I have to put the video on and then it never works the way and it's like, oh but we had it set up. Um, yeah. You know, it's the same. You know, if anybody's been in been in school or university, you've had to give a presentation to the class and you're like, oh yeah, I got it on this USB and then there's no USB port. So it's like, all right, let me just uh, email it to you and then you email it to yourself <laughs> and then yeah, you know, it's like no, every I'm single time. So and then it's like we're, it's it's we're not coming through, it's not level. coming through. And then it's like, oh the file's too big and then it's like, oh my god. And it's like have you got Dropbox? And it's like no, but you've got Google Drive. You know, it just like it never ends actually. Guys, this just in. The uh, stream is not nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Crazy. <laughs> it's a bit wider. It's a bit wider. That's than why that. they're having a bit of trouble. All right, no, it's yeah, a bit wider. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I think we're we're getting close. Oh, we're getting getting, getting a bit close. Very exciting. Brad Touch has done it. But yeah, sit tight. Here we go. It's it's almost trailer time. It's almost trailer time. Oh. Oh, they got a oh, full screen. Is it not playing? What's going on? You can hear me as well. I'm getting off. Yeah, like just like let's just put the mics down for a second. It is. We can hear. You can't hear it. Okay. Yeah, we can hear okay, it. Good, good, good. Yeah. Start again. <laughs> oh my, <God. laughs> my bad. So I hear you are coming to this Christmas for English being Egyptian seal. You heard wrong. Who told you that? <laughs> Who the hell is bringing me to Pismus? Father Pismus with a dollar dono. Hey boy, congrats on becoming the best gamer. I heard you are. What was that coming to Australia? I'm thinking about what did you it. Say? Maybe for like BAM. Coming to Christmas for I, I can Australia? Hear. No, no, I don't know what that is. In true Christmas fashion. Guys, we're still here commentating. I don't know if you can hear us. Yeah, look, it's. <laughs> can, you, can you hear me? Is that working? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It feels like my microphone. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know sure. What's going on? Man. I'm going to piss this fool in Australia. No, no, I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> Since you fear that, saving the train? Thank you. Uh, I am not going to piss this fool in Australia, sorry. Yo, Adam, so good to hear you're coming to piss this fool in Brisbane, Australia. <laughs> Thank you, Father Pismus, for the two dollars. What a legend! What's up, Father Pismus? Uh, I don't Pismus for in Australia, but you know what? Maybe if I was flown out, we could have a discussion about that. Just maybe, man. Pismus for sounds like a pissing good time. So I hear you are coming to Pismus mm -hmm. for in Brisbane, Australia. I think that's three hours of streaming already. We're gonna stop streaming. Uh, I got something to do, like in an hour, with my girlfriend, so I, I, I also want to eat before, so I should get going. You know what time it is. Time for another Christmas major in Brisbane, Australia. Featuring players confirmed from all around the world, competing on an international scale. Got games for everyone, from Ultimate Singles, Ultimate 3v3 Crews, HDR Singles, Melee Singles, Melee Doubles, P Plus Singles, P Plus Doubles, Piss Bet! <gasps> And a huge crew battle you won't want to miss. Australia versus the world. Will we defeat our totally confirmed guests, Kony, Armada, The Buzz, Hbox, Void, and MK hey, Leo? Hey. Our only one way to find out. Register now for Pismus 4. Dates are on the 2nd and 3rd of December, and you can find us at the University of Queensland, St. Lucia. Look forward to seeing you there. It'll be a pissing good time. So that was a journey. At, in, at Twitch chat, did you guys have sound? Yeah, let us know if there was sound. Actually, that yeah, because I, I want everyone. I think we might have been the only two people <laughs> who heard what was actually who had, going on. Who heard what was going on? And you know what was really funny? 
Everyone in the crowd was like, oh my god, confirmed. Okay, they had sound. They had sound, okay. Pretty sure none of those people are coming. Dude, like, I saw Connor so and Christian, I saw Master and Chef pop off when they saw the confirmed screen. Because <laughs> no one in the venue had sound. So they were like, oh, all six of these people are coming. <laughs> that might be the only possible way. Oh, absolutely. Thank oh you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Big Cheese is amazing.